Hey yo together and very welcome to the StarCraft 2 Crazy Replays! Today on Cactus Valley Leather Edition with a TVP, oh yeah! And I will start right with the introduction as we have spawning in the left top corner playing for... I assume himself, it's G-V-H-J-K. And I'm just saying he's the Red Protoss now because that name is way too strange for me to pronounce the whole time. And this opponent, me, spawning in the left bottom position, it's the Blue Terran Alex Usher. Oh, yeah. So, you will see a lot of crazy replays in the next couple of times because I played a lot of StarCraft 2 which I haven't recorded and after I played the games I was like they are not that bad, I should share them. And that's what you are opting for and that's what I'm opting for, so that's what you're going for. Easy as that. So yeah, there you go. And as you might see, maybe, I'm not quite sure. You might see another... Oh no, it's still the old build order. So I don't know when. I casted, uh, I recorded a crazy replay like a half an hour ago and I forgot to push the record button for the microphone so yeah thanks for that and exactly what I said there I will say now again is I have a new TVP Mac build order I found on Team Liquid there was a really nice guy with a really good well thought guide and I might go through that on one of the crazy replays when I'm uh, yeah, when I get to those. So I show you and explain you the thoughts behind that. I could also maybe link the video in the description, you'll see. But yeah, for now it's the old build order with the Reaper and the normal 15, uh, 14 or 13 as we scout. Sees, no gas, everything fine. Alright then, whoops to whoops to whoops. Okay. And will I be annoying here? Oh! Look at that! It looks like... I'm gonna try to be annoying with an eBay blog. Nice! So that's really annoying. Like, super annoying. Ah, oh, he didn't shift attack on the SCD with the probe. Ah, oh, that's a mistake. So whenever you get Engineer blocked, uh, either as Zerg or Protoss or Terran, ter it doesn't matter. Ah, oh, he might get the kill! Ooh, that's unfortunate. That was unnecessary. And you need to shift attack with the probe multiple times on the SCD. So when the SCV changes its position, that the probe follows, otherwise it will just stay there and do nothing. The more you know, and oh the Reaper doesn't kill the probe! Ah, oh, it delays it even further. Ah, oh, not the best multitasking micro in the awareness here for me, but yeah, really annoying. Ah, oh, this engineer man, behind that we see a simulator being taken, and the probe moving out. Ah, oh, the Reaper jumps into the main base. Will scout the second gas, but nothing else there. So, ah, uh, the Reaper might die. Yep, the Reaper might go oh, <laughs> in the air. Uh, very unlucky guy. And the probe sees everything, sees the factory. Uh, yeah, uh, at least I got a cancel. That's something, but there is the Nexus. We see a huge gateway explosion instead, so he's just taking it. Or maybe not. Or is he? Or maybe not. Or is he? Or robotics. So... Uh, it could be War Prison? I have no clue. So it's no Nexus. And the problem is, I don't know. For for now. And I'm supply kept like crazy, because I forgot the supply depot. Not really very crisp play out of me. So... He's moving across the map. Still no Nexus. There you go. Uh, he cancelled one more gate, so... It looks like the Protoss player here not quite sure what to do and how, but... It's fine. Yes, a bit of mine. Ah, uh, oh, the Stalker! Ooh, took some damage. There is no Widowmine yet, okay. Uh, the Mothership Core can be really annoying to deal with, but I guess it will be fine as the Starport just finishes. Uh, yeah, he scouts. And see, uh, yeah, yeah, he can't deal damage. Oh, oh, the marines might go to intercept the mothership core. Ah, it's on high ground. Uh, will it escape? Will it escape? Will it? Uh, going for the surround. Oh, 
And there's a recall. Ooh, but now 100 energy away from the mothership core. But he saved it, so that's good. And I'm like, where the heck is it? Well, it's not quite there yet. And there we go. Uh, very interesting drop. Two Widow Mines, two Marines can do some damage. Uh, the next is just finishing now. Probe wise, he's ahead. Very interestingly. But with the mules, I should be fine. Yeah, we got a lot of energy on those orbital commands. Look at that. I can throw it on like four mules. That's a lot of mules. That's a lot of income. Look at the income. How it will rise after throwing down the mules. And oh, there's nothing to defend. He pulled everything to the front because of the marines. There's the drop. Uh, kiting back a little bit there. He will clear out. Uh, clear those the, those marines eventually. But the Venomites. Oh, good shot. I uh, might lose another stalker there. Yes, he does. And those marines taking out some more probes. So overall, nine probes killed. So far, not too bad. And yeah, the income, look at that. A lot of lost mining time, some lost probes there. Uh, yeah, he will clear those widow mines. They won't shoot another time, will they? Oh god, no! Ah! Oh, so lucky! <laughs> that could have been so worse. But okay, that's, that's fair enough. Uh, behind that, we see some more factories going down, supply depot. Gas is taken. Income still in favor of me. And there's the Raven finally. So. Mm, this Medivac scouting for. Anything. Okay. A scouting Medivac. This is okay, you can do it. It can boost. Most likely it won't die. I didn't see Blink or Twilight Council, so I should be fine. Uh, the Protoss knows that I might go mag. I could assume. Maybe he doesn't. Uh, but for now he's going for Immortal. And Immortal are good against Mac. They're good against tanks. They're decent against Hellbats. They are, they are good. They are good against Thor as well. Uh, very passive game now. 10 minute mark. Command center goes down. More factories added. So I will be on 5 factory production. Uh, gas is saturated. Very good. I'm heavily ahead in, in Worker now. So he slipped with the worker production just a little bit. Getting the cannons. Uh, one cannon so far in the mineral line. Just to protect his mineral line from Widowmine drops. And uh, there's a proxy pylon going down. There we have one marine moving across the map. Scouting for bases. And I will see this little force here. Oh, I see it completely. No, no. Oh, there's something coming. And if you look at the unit tab. I got not too much, two tanks, I got three mortal, sure four widow mines, but there is an observer with this army and sentries can deal a lot of damage with the force fields, uh, deny uh, re the repair, be annoying, the guardian shield can be very important in those situations and he's locking me down on my natural very smartly and behind that he, can, he could expand so uh, I got no viking out yet so I can't kill the observer, I might lose the medivac or maybe not, or maybe I do. There we go. Uh, auto turret, preemptively. That's fine. But overall, oh, there's the Nexus. Killing a pro, but I see it. And I know, okay, so he wants to expand behind that. But it could be fake as well. So I need to be very careful how I manage this. Uh, he doesn't want to attack into a three bunker with a lot of tanks, widow mines, and hellions, that's for sure. Uh, but he might get one or two kills. So I'm opting with the Raven Viking. I should opt for the Observer to kill that one. Uh, yeah, it's on hold position. Oh, he will lose it. Uh, so he can't see the Widow Mines anymore if they are buried. Uh, the <laughs> Auto Turret gets repaired. I wonder if Auto Turret repair costs minerals. Uh, because to produce it, it also needs energy. That would be very interesting to know. I need to check that. Because you can repair uh, PDD as well. I would love to know if it costs minerals or either gas. Uh, but for now I don't know. So, the Protoss just containing me. Which is fine. And behind that getting the Twilight Council attack. Uh, the Nexus. Everything fine. I can't really move out with that force. 
That's the problem, but he's not aggressively warping in, so he's really just soft containing me, denying bases, but look at that! Oh no, look at the pylon! Ah! Okay, that was a hallucination. He sees that I'm taking a base, but will he react to it? It looks like for now he's pulling back because of the Hellions? Um, they don't have blue flame, have they? No. Oh, I could kill some salads here. Ah, yeah, look at the damage dealt there. Hellions are really good against salads. Oh, uh, he might go for no, a bit indecisive. Ah, he goes for the aliens. That's smart. Still, he hasn't pr produced any probes since the Nexus finished. So, mm, difficult spot to be in. He should have saturated that base, I guess. Oh, I'm pulling back. <laughs> He's searching for the auto command, and now he sees uh, <laughs> that I'm flying it back. Okay, so I can move out now. I got a lot of widow mines, a good splash damage, uh, some tanks. The upgrades are completely disastrous for me, but it's okay because his ones are not better either. Uh, he's trading a little bit. He's doing some damage, but not too much. Might get this hell that. Yes, this game sees the army. The hell that chasing. No, oh, go away! God. That's that's how Hellbirds sound if they die. Now you know. Uh, yeah, I really need to saturate the gas, throw on mules, uh, pull some SUVs towards the next expansion there. Get some turrets because of the possibility of Dark Templar. You see a war prism and a star gate, as well as a gateway explosion, a small one. Uh, not a real explosion. It's it's a he's adding three gates. That's fair enough. Uh, finally saturated that base. He's a bit supply cap. Uh, with the Stargate, I guess we might see Void Rays, or he could go for Twilight, uh, for Fleet Beacon. Uh, for me, we see Cloak Banji. Can work. But the problem with Banji compared to Battlecruiser is uh, they are quite weak. Not with the DPS, but they don't have too much health. Uh, you need to deny detection to make them really being useful, I guess. Ah, uh, we see ghosts. Ooh, that's very interesting. So with my max style, I adapted now with the new build order. I'm not playing any ghost, not any ghost, because you don't need it. But I guess I could try to sneak in one or two ghosts at some point later on. If I'm on four bases and I'm going for battle cruiser, there you go. I'm playing battle cruiser versus Protoss, and it's awesome. Let me tell you. Uh, but I might uh, squeeze in one or two goals just for the MPs, which could be so good. But yeah, uh, it looks like this probe going for a proxy. Hidden base. Ah, sorry for my yawning there. Ah. So don't sell it. Uh, the warp prism, I guess, died. Nope, it survived. There it is. Killing the addons. Very smart and might even burn down the starport. <laughs> Pulling all the SCVs! Sure, why not? I got the money. Uh, so he sees the army, he sees me going for uh, Banshees. And very passive game now. So his upgrades are really bad. But we see Tempest. And uh, there's the fleet picking at Tempest. 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 And with the Tempest, I don't know what the Tempest say if they arrive. Uh, let's, let's check that audio out. The good thing is Tempest are good against Vikings. Uh, they're okay. Okay, some Matrix was activated. Alright. Um, no, they are good against Banshees. They are quite okay. The problem, though, is uh, if I see the Tempest, I just need to go for a couple of Raven. Not even 10 or 20, but 4? And with the PDD, that's enough to, to totally nullify them in a fight. The scan goes down, sees the base, and there we go. Hidden base. Oh, yeah. And ghosts are not that bad against Tempest either. I mean, they don't deal too much damage, but uh, the ghost DPS is not too low. It's 10 damage or, or every 1.5 seconds. I would love to have the ghost a range of 7 or 8 because it's a sniper, but eh, that's just my personal preference. Would be totally imbalanced, I guess, but who cares? That's what I want. Mm, but if, if ghosts are cloaked underneath the army and the opponent lacks detection, they deal a lot of damage. Look at that. Pew pew! Uh, he's pulling all his army. 
I see his army there. He, he hides his Tempest, and that's good, but I still have one Raven, so two PDDs are available. Uh, which is really good for me. I'm Max, so I need to attack soon. And taking all those bases is good, but I need to attack. I need to attack. And let's zoom out, because that's gonna be a big one. So I see now the Tempest, and that's a good flank. Uh, oh, awesome! Wow, EMPs, look at that! But everything is clumped. I need to make sure that the Widow Mines are burning underneath. Hallucinate the Colossus. The color side, but uh, yeah, there are the PDDs a bit misplaced, so they don't uh, neglect too much damage there. But now I can deal with the Tempest as it looks like. And oh, good little man shots there, killing a lot. Not too many Vikings left, so uh, but my upgrades are a bit better here for air battles. But still, he got mm, his plus one finishing zoom. Little man tried to burrow, sneaking. Oh, there we go, they got the speed upgrade. Oh, that was a very good shot. Ooh. This one, little Tempest, it survives! Holy moly, that was so very close. <laughs> and he clears it with the uh, Warpin of Stalker there, so very nicely done. I have to pull back. Uh, going for the Star Ports behind that. Even more Star Ports, it looks like. Yep. And there we go with the Raven. There are some tanks chasing the Stalker, but the Stalker are a bit faster than the tanks, so... <laughs> it's not gonna happen. Or is it? Oh, he's fighting there. He got no blink, he's not reacting. He's training the stock for the tanks, that was unnecessary. Pulling even the probes there. Oh yeah, give me all the kills. And you can see tanks have a good DPS. Yeah, they're awesome. And there it goes, bye bye. Another base going up, he needs the gas, he should saturate the gas. Uh, transfer some probes like them. He could use the recall ability of his mothership core to transfer them immediately to the space. That would be nice. Otherwise, they would have to walk all the distance along here. And for me, it's looking like I'm going mass widow mines and some raven and some vikings. Because why not? Against tempest and zealots. And that's not all too much he got there. He got seven tempest. He's going for storm, but it's way too late. It's not gonna work. Feedback sure is nice, but no, the, the, those are too many Widow Mines. Hunter Seeker Missile, GG, and there you go. Doesn't see the explosion, but there you go. He knows, no way. If those burrow, and they got the speed upgrade, they moved the drilling claw, so. Ah, no chance there. Not against those Widow Mines. Nope. So yeah, that was, that was a very interesting eBay block at the beginning. And. With that said, thank you so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed, I wish you as always a very nice day and good